Hi guys, so in this video, we're just going to look at the properties of the vector product. So we had this in the previous lesson, V cross W is equal to negative W cross V. So it goes the it, it's the same magnitude, but it goes the opposite direction. Um, U cross V plus W is just equal to U cross V plus U cross W. That's nice. And then when you, when you multiply by K, a scalar KV cross W is equal to K times V cross W. That's nice. And then V cross V is equal to zero. That's, well, you can think of that because the sign of the angle between two vectors, well, the angle between two vectors that are, that are the same is zero. So you end up multiplying it by sine of zero, which gives you um, zero. Okay, let's just do a few of these questions. Um, there weren't many, when I looked at the past papers, there's not many of these types of questions, but certainly you do need to um, be comfortable with dealing with anything like this. So um, question one, show that a minus b cross a plus b is equal to two a cross b. So I can just multiply these out kind of like this. So I can say this is a, so let's write the whole thing here. A minus b cross a plus b. So this is equal to a cross a, a cross a, a cross a plus a cross b plus a cross b minus b cross a minus b cross a um, minus b cross minus b cross b. Now what's a cross a? Well, look at it right here, it's zero. And what's b cross b? Well, that's zero. So what I'm left with is, so this equals, this is zero, this is zero, and I have a cross b, um, a cross b minus b cross a. Now this is actually equal to, um, from this, minus b cross a is equal to a cross b. So this is actually equal to, let's just write them all down, zero plus a cross b plus a cross b minus zero, which is equal to two a cross b. Two a cross b. And, and because of this, it doesn't matter, am I saying two a cross b or am I saying two a cross b? It's the same thing. Okay, next one, question two. Simplify, let's write it down, 2a minus 3b cross um, 3a plus 2b. This equals 6a cross a, that's gonna be zero, nice, and um, plus, plus 4a cross b minus 9b cross b. A, this is actually quite similar, um, minus 6B cross B. So this is equal to zero, that's zero, that's zero. And this is four, this is very, very similar, 4A cross B plus 9A cross B, which is 13A, 13A cross B. Last one. Evaluate A cross B dot a minus b. Okay, so a cross b dot a minus b is equal to, so remember this is just a vector. So this is a vector dot a minus b. So using the scalar product properties, I can say this is equal to a cross b dot a, and there's a minus here, so minus a cross b dot b. Now, if you remember, um, when you do a cross b, and this is like the most important property of the vector product, when you cross two vectors, when you do a cross b, you get a vector that is perpendicular to a and perpendicular to b. So here, I've got a vector perpendicular to a. So What's the dot product of two perpendicular vectors? Well, it's zero, so that's zero. Minus, again, here I have a vector perpendicular to b. 
So what's the dot product of two perpendicular vectors? That is also zero. So you just have with zero minus zero equals zero. Okay, that's it. Pretty short video, short lesson. Um, yes, I certainly want you to know these. You could be asked a question like this, no doubt about it. Um, hopefully it's fairly straightforward. The kind of main things to remember are, are this, V cross W equals negative W cross V, and then V cross V equals zero. Okay, see you in the next lesson.